Nepal, a land of friendly faces, majestic mountaintops and delicious Dalbat. After exploring both India and Bangladesh, my time has come to take in this incredible and highly recommended part of the world. So we took a flight from Dhaka to Kathmandu to see what all the fuss is about. This is cool, the weather is nice. I like it. In this video, we'll say hi to some locals, sample some Nepali tea, sort of top, dig into some it, it Dalbat, smells. and climb our way to the best viewpoint in this beautiful city. Nepal is beautiful. All right, hello or namaste from here in Kathmandu in Nepal. It is my first time here in Nepal. I'm so excited to be here and to finally explore this beautiful country. Hello. 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 <laughs> good start, good start. Maybe we can't go this way. <laughs> A lot of construction. Made it. <laughs> so just walking through here and already there's a massive sort of temple just in the middle of this little square here. It's really cool. I'm loving the vibes here in Nepal, in Kathmandu already. I don't know. We've come from three months in India, a few days in the, um, Bangladesh. I like it here. I like it. <laughs> He's like yelling out to him and like whoop, whoop. <laughs> He's like yelling, I'm alright He's like yelling out to him and like telling him And he looks like he's like teaching him how to build it or something I don't know, I don't know what they're saying So we are no stranger to a market Like we've been in markets a lot of places This one's really cool because you've got all like your shoes Your shirts, everything like that Like you would find in any other market But the scenery in this one and here just looks really cool I know there's something cool about it With these tall buildings, these cobblestone floors it just looks really picturesque and really pretty and it's different to other markets we've seen yeah. in india and southeast asia because nepal is never colonized right so it's, it's, tr it's traditional architecture it's natural architecture so on the way through we found ourselves in the middle of this massive market sort of square area this is cool what did you see we have a specific way to go which is down that one but every time i turn and look there's Every, something like, else. Street looks cooler than the other. Like, look at that shiny one down there. Oh yeah. Let's get that one out for a bit. All right. How pretty, Bip? How pretty is this street? You've got all these beautiful like decorations, like tinsel above us. You've got all these cool like gold things, little trinkets to buy. Wow, this is awesome. So there's one thing I would love to get from Nepal and that's a set of my own prayer flags just so I can have them at home and like keep them forever. So let's see if we can buy some today. We're gonna have a look down here. If not, we might have to go buy them a little bit later in the video um, back maybe where we're staying. I was just in India for three months and I loved tea or they call it chai in Hindi. So tell me what tea is called here. But I need one of them. I'm gonna try what they like in Nepal. Let's see if there is one. Hi. Tea? Could I have one? Thank you. How much? 30. Okay. Just one. Yes. It's in like a pot over like a strainer. Kind of more similar to India than Bangladesh so far. Yeah. All right. You take, what are they, fives? Still getting the use of the different monies is just like crazy. Oh, thank you. <laughs> I feel like I'm going to fall. It's really hot. It smells like, because it's got the spices sort of on the top, it, it smells like spicy. It's not, not, not chili spice, just like herb spice. Flavor spice. Flavor spice. That's so good. Definitely not like the tea that we had in Bangladesh. It's more like the Indian chai that you have that we had for three months. That's really nice. It's sweet. It's like creamy, like kind of like milky creamy. And it's a big, it's a pretty big cup. It says 150 mil and it's like full. I really, I really like this one. I wonder what they call it. It's not called chai. Do you call this tea? Is it just tea? Yes. Yeah. Chai or tea? Is it chai or chai, tea? Chai, oh, chai, use chai. chai. Oh, okay, chai. <laughs> Thank you. I thought it tasted like chai. <laughs> oh, it's really good. You you try it. Okay. People help me. Oh, it's different. It yeah. tastes different. It's nice. It's good. So, hi there. How are you? You good? good. That's good. <laughs> so sitting here feels very peaceful. <laughs> it's really cool. Um, I think my aim to have made a friend. I think my aim to have a coffee in every country is maybe turned to a chai or a tea in every country. Yeah. <laughs> so, uh. bye. Okay. Down your bed. Thank you. Okay, so we just made it to Durban Square. Thank you so much. Thank you, Danibad. So you can see a Kumari in the garden. It's all good, thank you. So I have noticed that there is a lot of people wanting to be a taxi driver and your guide here, which is fair enough because there's so many people who would come here for like Everest and stuff, right? So it is a popular tourist destination. All these birds, and one of them just pooped on me. Rude. <laughs> <laughs> 
Let's now put it in the bin. Oh, I just... Yeah, you're a bit of a dumb shit for that. No pun intended. <laughs> no, thank you. No, thank you. You don't want to buy anything. Oh, I just put it on my face. I'm over this. What are you doing? Oh, stop it. It's not the part with the poo okay, on it. I know. I put the part with the poo on it on my face. You haven't got a good track record. If you're new to my channel, I'm kind of more of a like experience in the moment when I get here, have a look at it kind of person. I'm not really a educational channel, but I do know that this is a UNESCO World Heritage Site. So Derba Square is protected by World Heritage. It's also built between the, I think 12th and 18th century, which is pretty cool. So it's obviously super, super, super old. It's home to a lot of things, but one of them is the living goddess. And I think, and correct me if I'm wrong, again, I do not claim to know everything or even anything Thing for that matter <laughs> so I think there's a child uh, when they're two I think they get named as the living goddess I think they find a new one when they're six so every four years um, it gets changed to a new living goddess and it's a living child and they believe that that's the living goddess I know that that's not that much, much information but that's pretty interesting to me so apparently that's the thing here but I don't think you can film them this is obviously a really old um, and interesting square we've been to India and other places that were colonized but this looks completely different because it wasn't um, so you can see the sort of like original architecture from the people here without any other influence which I find really interesting it does look different it looks different to anything that we've seen oh so I've missed it but we've been asked for a guide probably 10 times I keep I keep missing it from camera so yes you know so much things where, no, thank you where from by the way where? No, where? please go yes but there's a lot of people asking a lot of people on the hustle for a guide to guide tourists around um, we don't like to do that um, but this guy's getting absolutely harassed back there by him I've been watching him for like 10 minutes this guy will not leave him alone and I heard him say if you like the price if you're happy I'm happy if anyone ever says that to you I'm giving you I'm telling you right now run <laughs> So it's 150 for this tech. What's that? Which I'm assuming is like uh, Inglia, in Inglia? Yeah. <laughs> India, Bangladesh, um, Sri Lanka, maybe. I'm assuming it's those sort of countries. So that's 150 Nepalese rupee, but Bhutan. for us is like a thousand. And I'm assuming that locals are free because people are just feeding pigeons and sitting in there. I can't imagine you'd pay to go in just to do that every day. I, I don't know. But there's places in there that they're still rebuilding the structures. So obviously the devastating earthquakes that happened in 2015, I believe. Some of the things are still being rebuilt. I think it's definitely gone and still is under a period of sort of reconstruction um, from the devastation. I remember that all over, even in Australia, there were so many fundraisers from the earthquakes in Nepal. So yeah, if, if it got to Australia, it, it was obviously massive and devastating. Okay, so we're just here waiting for a Patel, which is the app, kind of like Uber or Ola. We use this one in Bangladesh, but basically it just gives you a price and it kind of changes along the way. Um, <laughs> so you offer a price or they accept a price or they offer a price. Um, and then along the way, depending on traffic, I believe, I don't know, sometimes the price just goes up at the end, but um, we're waiting for this guy to get us and then we're gonna go to the temple. Hi, okay. Namaste, what's your name? Robin. Robin? Thank you. We're on the way to the monkey temple. The name I actually can't pronounce. I'll put it on the screen. Um, we're heading there now. Now, I feel really bad because I'm not my usual self today. I'm feeling a little bit under the weather. Um, so I'm not going to climb the stairs. I'm just going to get a car to the top. I'll show you it and then I'll probably walk down the stairs. I don't feel up to walking up the stairs today, but you can at this temple. I'm missing them, but there's so many monkeys just in the side of us when we're driving up. Look there. And there. Oh, that's a dog. That's a dog. Okay. 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 You want this? Yeah. You can have the 500. Okay. Okay. That's right. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Down your bed. The Sat country tourist was the 50 Hi. Nepalese rupees, and ours from other countries is 200 Nepalese rupees. I know, I saw it, but I'm trying to figure out why everyone's going coins. Is it like a wishing well or something? Anyway, the monkeys are just running around, so. I'm just trying to get in. I'm not scared of monkeys. I'm scared of them like taking my stuff, if that makes sense. So I'm a little bit on the edge at the moment. <laughs> Namaste. Can I have one sec? Four piece. Don't bad. So I watched and everyone else got a whole stack and I only got four for the same amount of money. Anyway. 
Oh, I almost got it. Oh, I got it. I don't know what it means, but I got it. Oh no, that was bad. That was bad. I felt, yeah, I felt it. I was should have cracked one. I should have, should have quit while I was ahead. Okay, so I got one in the pot. Can someone please tell me what that means? I'm gonna go give it to someone. Oh, wait, come back. Do you want to throw? You don't want it? Okay. <laughs> Do you want to throw this one? For you? To put it in there? <laughs> so we're heading up the stairs now. Like I said, we cut out half of them by taking the car here. So you can do the whole way, not feeling optimal or my best. This is not, yeah. oh wow. This is not what I want to do today. And then I say things like this. <laughs> this is stunning. So up here you have all of these tourist souvenirs, necklaces, some animals, bracelets. Just a very small frog. I can't see. Frog, I don't think I Just have... big frog, right? Yeah, just me. Michael's mum loves frogs. Yeah, Thank okay, you so okay, much. Okay, okay. Done your bad. So I don't get it on camera, but I've met probably like, what, seven families today that um, saw me in India. All right, so we just got to the top where the stupa is under construction. But for size reference, Michael's been to Myanmar? I always compare Buddhist stupas to Shwede Gong Pagoda in Myanmar, because it's like, for lack of a better term, the Holy Grail, right? And of, of like Buddhist temples to go to. And this is beautiful. Shwede Gong Pagoda is probably, probably maybe 50 times the size of this, I would 50 say. 50 times? So Michael just told me and pointed out, I didn't actually notice it, but on the side of this is like turn, I don't know what you call it. The hey. things that turn. <laughs> okay, Michael's gonna Google it. We're gonna call it a prayer wheel. I don't know. It's it's made of like looks like tin or metal or something. Michael's telling me that you walk around in a clockwise direction. Do you know why clockwise, or is that just the dumb thing? I don't thing? know why, but something. If it you'll just notice, is. If you'll notice, you'll see that there's people who have been walking around multiple times. Yeah, they're going around and around. And then, of course, at the top of any of these things. There's a lookout. And they're the stairs that I think we missed coming up here. Right there. Michael just said that we're surrounded basically by mountains and we are like, everywhere we look, there's like a bigger city than I expected and the mounds along the side. Nepal is, Nepal is beautiful. Really beautiful. Monkeys, monkeys, monkeys. Hi, do you have water? Yeah, yeah. Water? Is it Kite Pesa? How much? 25. 25? Can we get one, please? Okay. Is it cold or not? A little bit cold. Not so much. Not so much. Yeah, it's okay. 25. Is it Ferry Vetonla? Ferry Vetonla. Ferry Vetonla. Like bye? Yeah, thank you. <laughs> thank you. We're going to take the stairs down because we didn't take them up. I feel a little bit better taking them down because um, I don't feel very well. Look at puppies over there. Almost. You good, Josie? Yeah. No. Yo. All right, so we're just waiting for a car to take us back, and we're going to go to an area called I think it's Tamil or Tamil. So when we get there, I'm hoping to find some dalbat and try some of that here as well. Hi, Namaste. Namaste. Om Restaurant Nepali dalbat. That's what we want. So we want. Let's get some local food, shall we? Cool. Awesome. All right, so we've got sets. Namaste. I was just after some uh, we'll dal bar. We'll yeah, we have uh, this thali set. Kana set. The kana, yeah. Oh, kana set. Yeah. Can we, let's just share. Do you want to do chicken? Chicken. Chicken? Yeah. Chicken. Chicken's good? Okay. Is it spicy? Yeah, a little bit. Can I have n not a lot? Oh, okay. L a little, little, oh, little oh, bit. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> what just happened? Chicken club. Yeah, we watched it. Just, I saw it happen. You saw it? What, it just went boom. <laughs> yeah. Oh no! It was on that, was it? Maybe it was hot? Oh, thank you. Thank you very much. So, that's thank you, right? Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. Going through learning 10 of the regional languages in India, and then what, Bengali, and now a little bit of Nepali. My brain is getting very confused, so I'm trying my best. <laughs> thank you. Thank you. Do I eat with my hands? Or with this? Yes. With my hands? <laughs> That's okay. Eat with my hands or fork? What I like. Okay, thank you. <laughs> so we've got a big silver plate of dalba. So it's just like a mixture of the local things, I believe. Actually, I've noticed since being in Nepal, they all have this like bendy straw. bendy straw thing. I love that. I don't know why. We have a um, couple of bowls here. This one looks like 
uh, like lentils, like a lentil kind of soup. This one kind of looks like potatoes or like some kind of like cut vegetable thing. This one just looks like a whole bunch of greens. It looks like chips, but it's obviously not chips, I don't think. And then you've got a little bit of sauce, which looks red, so red scares me. It might be spicy. If you're new to my channel, I don't do well with spice. And then you've got the meat here in this bone. We ordered chicken. And then a whole bunch of rice on the inside. I'll definitely be using this, I think, white yogurt neutralizer sauce. <laughs> a little bit of the potato. Let's give this a go. Maybe a bit of the dal. And I have a big spoonful of all the different kinds of food. Oh, more? Oh, yeah, I'll have a little bit. Just a little bit, yeah. yeah. <laughs> well, that's yeah, that's enough. <laughs> Even that like potato type mixture is spicy. I got a whole bunch of that like spinach, really soft, nice food. And the potato itself, the taste is good. The spice is getting me, but. <coughs> okay, I think it's a bit too spicy for me. <coughs> it, feel, it tastes good though. It's, okay, that chicken is really soft. That's really good. It's spicy though, but it's really good. I want Michael's opinion on the food because he can take much more spice than I can. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Okay. oh, I'm okay. Thank you, though. It's just nice chicken. It's super soft. It looks really the dal's good. nice. The chicken's nice. This is nice. I haven't had the greens yet. I'll have them last. The taste of the food is making me keep eating it anyway. Uh, how much would they? Uh, $660. $660 for everything? Okay. The money's so colourful. <laughs> 660, is that right? Count it just in case. Okay. <laughs> I don't want to get it wrong. It's quite, Good, quite thank you. Uh, fairy vet on la. Oh, fairy vet. <laughs> <laughs> thank you. Don't you bad. Oh, that was a cool place to eat if you're ever around Kathmandu come to Om restaurant, they were so friendly and so nice and the food was good. I'm just, am very weak with spice. So that was really nice, they were lovely. We are in a touristy part. We're in Tamil right now, so it is very touristy. So it does make sense that they're having a bit more cafes than usual to cater to Westerners and other travelers, but. This area is kind of known as, they call it a backpacker's ghetto or a traveler's ghetto. <laughs> this one? <Yes>. Koala. <laughs> He knows koala. Hello, namaste. We're just looking in um, a camera shot because I need, uh, well, this is broken. We both use this for, Michael uses the GoPro for his channel. And then I have a second channel um, called Just Josie. I'll link it in the description bar below. And I kind of just do more local, like casual things, but this is like broken. It doesn't stay. Well, I think that's a better option for three. If you ever have a GoPro, you need the longer lasting batteries. I'll tell you that much. Michael wants a little. Awesome. Well, show you from the show you different qualities. Yeah, it's awesome. This one will cost you just 400 rupees. Okay. This one will cost you 800 rupees. So I like the idea of the prayer flag. The size is small. Mark will like these. Like we have different uh, designs. Okay. So the Om and the Wisdom, uh, This uh, the star represents wisdom. The star. The symbol of wisdom. Oh yeah, the star. Yeah, yeah. okay. And this represents sun. And this is the mandala, and this part represents the purification. Purification, mind. right? Yeah. Okay. So you got the sun, the om, the energy. I need a bit of energy in my life. And we got this one. Be perfect. Perfect. Thank you so much. All right. Can you take this. Two hundred rupees. Yep. Thank you. Thank Have you. A good day. Thank you so much. Bye. -bye. All right. We got Michael's um, painting, and now I'm going to get my press legs. Hopefully. <laughs> oh yeah. I just have a look at this. More a small dish. Oh, so small, medium, large. Yeah. Fairy Bethel La. Yes. <laughs> oh. No t shirt, fine. Hello, Danyavad, bye, sir. Oh, Naicha, yeah, bye, sir. Naicha, yeah, bye, sir. He was speaking in Hindi to me, that's why I spoke to him back. <laughs> oh my gosh. I missed it, but he put a chocolate in that dog's mouth. With a wrapper on, he didn't eat the chocolate, but he was just carrying, he was just carrying the chocolate for him. That was so cute. So Michael's buying a drink, but I just wanted to talk about these prayer flags for a second and why I actually wanted them. But it would be really cool if one day um, I could do base camp or climb a little bit of Everest. I don't want to obviously climb the whole thing. I don't have that much money. <laughs> I know that they're all at the top of the um, mountains and hills and all along the way. I actually broke my back about five years ago. Um, so since then, like physical activities and things like that are a lot harder for me than they used to be. So I'm not in a position right now where I think I could physically climb, um, but I'm hoping that one day I can be, and I'm gonna keep these with me um, as maybe some motivation or a reminder of the things that I can hopefully do again one day. Okay, well, 
good first day so far, that's for sure. Pretty cool. Um, I really like it. After India's India's been great, Bangladesh was great, but after sort of so much chaos in those places. Yeah, it's, it's a you bit get, more relaxed. You get so used to the chaos that you don't notice the constant noise and you come here and it's like, oh this is quiet. Yeah, you're right. Before we go in, we have to respect the sign. Please do not destroy. <laughs> okay? That is so cute. It's super cute. Thank you. So you come in and you've got like this little like area. I've got my bag everywhere, so don't worry about that. Obviously we're staying here. And then the bed is massive. It's not very comfortable, I will be honest. And then we have this sort of separate room over this side, which has like a little couch and like a coffee table, which goes into a desk um, and then into our lo another little, well not another, the only bathroom the that we have, the bathroom, um, which is also pretty good. It's a wet room. No complaints. Everywhere in Nepal has a wet room. So no complaints, really. I can't wait to see more of Nepal. Next time I will taste more of its food and meet even more people. Subscribe to see that one next, or if you're watching this in the future, it's already on the screen for you to watch right now. I can already tell this will be a trick to remember.